Felucia. Gathering gear, rushing out immediately with the captain and having a quick look while she assesses. Eventually, you guys are all exterior of the ship. Last and a little hesitant is Arthur coming down the ramp. And this is what you see. The humidity of the alien planet hits you like a wall. You instantly begin sweating in your clothes, gentlemen. It's just thick like soup here. The air is heavy and really, really warm compared to what you're used to, the air-conditioned ship. And the canopy of life, after the sound and disturbance of our crashing our ship, slowly starts to seep in to the heated jungle ambience. The insects, the small critters, the distant jungle roars of this predator and that predator. Even the faint cries of heavy winged and light insect as well as avian life all slowly come back on on top of you. A bright burst of light but diffused through a thin cloud layer. Huge pink purple with orange highlighted veined crystalline looking mushrooms with tall, thick stalks as wide as cars with what almost looks like barnacles from the side of a ship growing right out of them themselves. Like it's life upon plant life upon plant life. Vines, the distant swamps, open areas. Like it's just astounding how everything is to scale to itself and yet you're looking at something, trying to. your brain is trying to say, oh, well, I have those plants at home. Just really, 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 really small and not quite so vivid. And what do we do? <sighs> what is that smell? It's not that smell pleasant at all. Everybody looks at well, Zinn. <laughs> not because he did something, because he's supposed to know these things, right? 